Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is an exciting one and one that I'm buzzing to be sharing with you all today. The world's first Gymshark tri suit. About eight weeks from start to finish. Loads of work behind the scenes from the innovation department. I've been traveling up and down to Gymshark headquarters, to Loughborough for fittings, refittings, measurings, just making sure everything's aligned where it needs to be, testing it in the water, testing it on the bike, etc., etc. It's been a big old process and that is what I'm excited to be sharing with you all today. So if you do enjoy the video at any stage, I've got three things to ask from you. Number one, please do drop it a like. Number two, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And number three, if you would very kindly leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. It helps push the channel to more viewers and whatever your feelings about me are, I think people deserve to see the world's first Gymshock tri suit. So drop a comment down below. Moving on. For this all to make sense, I think we need to rewind a little bit. So if you just bear with me, then yeah. Good morning, good morning. Day two. We were actually here the day before, but this was the first meeting with the innovation team to start the creation process. We're at Gymshark headquarters and we are here for the reason that we came down in the first place. Got a meeting with the innovation department in the lifting club just behind me here. Gonna go through some of the sizing that I've been wearing, cycling kit, what's not fitting, what is fitting, take the best bits of both worlds, try and learn how we can fix that and turn it into an exciting bit of kit further down the line. The innovation department is quite a small team at the moment, but growing, so introduce you to them once we're in there and just run you through what stage one of this process looks like. So, as I mentioned, the main premise of today was just getting to know the innovation team a little bit, who are an incredibly exciting division of Gymshark, and they have enormous plans for the future, for the brand, for the athletes, for the products. It's just insane, just insane, and a, a real key part of why I've enjoyed this process so much. So, today was just about getting my baseline measurements, a few measurements on actual fabric, and a bit more of a general discussion and introduction on what the suit is required for. That was arguably the most exciting thing I've ever experienced in my life. Just having people conceptualize and think about how to be as out of the box as possible, try and make everything as bespoke as possible. So I'm gonna voice over the section we've just done. So I'm speaking to my future self right now, but you can listen. But for the sake of just keeping you up to date with what we've gone through there, we basically just mapped out a bit of a background on how to approach this. We've got some dates in the diary from now until the Keltman, and then from then until the Outlaw, to basically make this suit as perfect as possible for me. So measurements taken from every possible part of my body and yes, we finally confirmed that A, my calves are tiny, but B, my left calf is slightly less tiny than my right calf, which is kind of good news, but it doesn't change the fact that these are pathetic. But nonetheless, measurements taken, bit of a conversation around how we're gonna get there, conversation around materials, played around, around with some stretchy stuff, material water repellent, discussed where we can use knitted stuff, got some leg warmers on the way for the bike that are gonna come up to the tri suit and some arm warmers as well, because then that way, no matter how bad the weather gets in the Keltman, I can use the tri suit with the base and then have the add-ons to make it more manageable. So I'm rambling at this point, but that was just stage one of making this actually happen. Stage two, we will get to when I'm down in a couple of weeks and actually start fitting prototypes to my body, which is very exciting. I'll have a new bike, I'll have, that, have had that bike fitted as well, so we're going to make sure the positioning is alright and everything's spot on there too. But that's it for now. I have a one hour run at 7.30 minute per mile pace that I'm going to do on the treadmill because there's not many routes around here. And then we're back up the road to Edinburgh before back down again in two weeks to get the next stage of the innovation process sorted.
Hello, and we are back. Second round of fitting, basically testing prototype number one today on the tricycle, which is very, very exciting. So I've got the turbo down, I've got the bike down just to check sort of hip positioning, leg positioning, testing leg warmers and arm warmers as well, I believe, not quite sure, but that is the aim. Basically, just so I've got a complete tri suit with everything available that I can strip off. Plan is for this tri suit to be a little bit more robust and suited for the colder weather that you can get on extreme triathlons than a normal tri suit would be. And the best thing of all is it's going to be completely bespoke and completely fitted for my very non triathlon shaped body. Yes, thank you for highlighting the small carbs. But nonetheless, that's it. I'm going to grab the turbo, I'm going to grab the bike, head into the innovation department and see you there. So, fitting went well, I'd say. I've not had fittings like that before, so don't have anything to compare it to, but space to fill in here, loads of measurements taken to extend arms, to get the warmers connected better, to get them sticking better, especially when wet, lengthening the legs, adding chamois, a few more bits and bobs, and then we are to Loughborough next week, English Institute of Sport, underwater scanners, the works, just to see how it performs in the water, see how it stretches, and just check that it's all completely bespoke to where I need it to be. Beyond that, I think it's just in case of getting the fitting spot on and then it's going to be the one and only Gymshark tri suit, which is quite exciting. Progress has been made, which is very, very exciting. I will see you next week at Loughborough for part three of the process, which might actually end up being the final fitting with space for one more before the Kelvin itself. But I'm very excited because I do feel like this is going to be the world's most specific extreme triathlon tri suit and I'm so so undeserving of that. Right, part three down at Loughborough University for the second fitting and a bit of testing of the tri suit itself. I might have just gone the wrong way but we'll get back to the, that in a second. So head into the pool just now, got an hour in there actually alongside the Tokyo team, which is pretty embarrassing for me as I'll be flailing around like an injured seal in comparison. But nonetheless, going to test the tri suit, going to see how it feels and then get on the turbo after that, see how it feels there. And from that point, we're basically just going to know any adjustments that need to be made, check the chamois, see how it's all feeling. And then it should be Kelpman ready. But what we need to do first of all is actually find where we're going. So I will catch up with you in a second once we are at the pool. Test round number one complete, basically just seeing how it feels in the water. A little bit of bagginess to cut away here, a little bit too high on the front so that it's sitting in line with the wetsuit, but other than that, it looks unreal, it feels unreal. Yeah, it looks real smart when coming into the water. The tri suit that is, not me in the water, but we'll move on, we'll move on.
Oh, what about this little bit of magic? Up you go, there you go. Oh, you don't see that in some of the Hold best on. nightclubs in Sydney. <laughs> Short trip, I must say, but we have tested that in the water, on the bike, and a bit of a dad with new Reebok grilling shoes around a lecture theatre. Bet you didn't see that coming. But felt great in the water, a little bit to get rid of here, as I said, felt great on the bike, a little bit to get rid of around my hip flexors and just around sort of my obliques. And then on the run, it felt like a tri-suit. So I'd say that's good. Last thing to go in is the chamois, which they've ordered in, but has been delivered somewhere at Gymshark HQ and they can't actually find it. So that's one piece of the puzzle. I should have this sorted next week. And then there should only really be one more component on this video before we round up and actually head to the Kelman itself. What is also very exciting and I found out today is that there is a and a on the way as well. So that is pretty cool. Bespoke to my sizing. As I said earlier, I think the biggest missing link here is probably my overall swimming and triathlon ability. So on that note, I'm going to say goodbye and see you next time. Do you want to see what happens if you've been watching this without subscribing? Just kidding. Try to subscribe. So, two boxes. I actually don't know what's in the second box. Just kidding, I do, but you don't, yeah, and that's the important thing. So I'm pretty sure that this is the tri suit and this is something else. But we'll get into this first of all, because why waste any more time? suit secured and leg and arm warmers separately obviously and um, but let's get into this here this is actually this is like it how do I do this with gusto like that, I think. God. It's nice! All right. So, two sets of Gymshark custom arm warmers as well as two sets of leg warmers. So these are fully bespoke to me, as you will have seen already from the process unfolding. But this basically makes this completely effective as a sort of kind of building blocks on top of one another. So this as a base layer, and then I can take these on and off, on and off accordingly. I think the way the weather's looking, I'm probably not going to end up using these because we are five days out now. Oh dear. Oh dear. But I think um, the extra thickness on this will probably mean that where you might not be able to get away with a regular tri suit normally, this will actually be perfect. So it's all worked out. It's all worked out. What I'm going to do is put this on and give you a little, little twirl or two. And here it is in all its glory. And my God. Am I happy with this? How good does that look in terms of one matching the bike? Big tick there, but. Yes, this is the golf ball effect to make me more streamlined. There we have it. Jim Chart's first ever tri suit, ladies and gents. <laughs> I can't wait to put this to the test. And well, to be fair, I've already used it in a few settings, but obviously not over long, long distances. So for those that I tell religiously not to change anything before race day, do as I say, not as I do in this case. But I think, uh, come on, we can all agree when this 
is the thing that I'm doing, it kind of kind of bounces out. So basically, you've seen the story, you've seen how we got here. Everything's been tweaked over time. I think what's changed since last time was a bit more has come down from here. The fabric that was hanging when I was in the aero position has been dragged out of here, so that's now tight on my body. These have been tightened up a little bit around here, and there's a little bit more elasticity in here so that I can get these on and off a bit more easy. But other than that, it's basically just been refined and tailored to my body shape. So quite literally, the same technology that goes into golf balls, the ripple effect, so that basically wind ripples over the front of it. Um, these are reflective, so if there is a head torch on at any stage, it will be quite Tron-like. Hopefully we get to see that in the race video. Sharks everywhere to make me faster in the water, obviously. And yeah, you're not going to miss me. You're not going to miss me. And I don't really know what else to say. I'm sure the innovation department could tell you a lot more about the technology behind the suit, but beyond that, I think it just looks pretty cool. All right, so a few weeks ago, I was informed as a bit of a surprise that along with Gymshark's first ever tri suit, exciting, there were also two wetsuits on the way, a sleeved and a sleeveless one coming from a company in California that is actually the company that supplies SEAL Team 6, which is very, very cool, and makes me feel a little bit inadequate to be kitted out like this but I will take it I will take it so what's really cool about this is the fact that basically five weeks ago from sort of ideation to creation the innovation team just got my measurements got how I like to wear my wetsuits where I like certain buoyancy neoprene balances etc that won't mean anything to non open water swimmers but basically more neoprene that you have in your legs pulls your hips up a little bit more allows you to be a bit more streamlined in the water but you don't want as much in your chest because it'll slow you down so it's a balancing act between those and this is made exactly for the way that i want to swim the way that i like to swim for my body shape which is a bit less conventional than normal wetsuit builds i think it's fair to say and here it is five weeks later from california gymshock's first ever wetsuit So, I think we can all agree, this looks class. Feels class as well. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but in comparison to my Zone 3, where a Zone 3 Aspire normally, and I've got on with, well with that for a long time, so that's kind of loosely based on this in terms of shape, but it just feels like a more, it just feels like better neoprene. I don't really know how to describe the texture of this neoprene other than better, but it just feels really fluid, really stuck to me, and like, tight in the right places rather than tight in the wrong places like the zone three is because obviously my legs are a bit bigger than they normally would be for the sizing and my body shape's a bit smaller up top in comparison to my legs etc so it means that bespoke sizing is obviously going to be better in this case but i'm quite literally feeling that on my skin now with the tricep underneath which i can barely tell is there so all in all i'm having a good time I wish that I could tell you there was an elaborate reason why we had the bike out because we were checking the aerodynamics of me on the bike, but no, we were just getting a thumbnail. So only thing to add though is that tomorrow these are coming off and we're hitting the trifecta as there is a Gymshark pair of wheels going on. So the fun doesn't stop. The fun doesn't stop. Today is Monday the 7th. The race is on Saturday the 12th. So this will be coming out on Wednesday the 9th. So in terms of speaking ahead, I'm feeling pretty solid at this point. Everything's coming into place. Tapers sort of exactly where I'd expect it to be. Eating it just above maintenance the rest of the week. All the sort of panic kit that I was hoping would arrive has arrived, so that's good news. I'm in with Dougie and we're bike fitting again. If you haven't seen that video, go back to my most recent one where I introduced you to this bad boy, the Cervelo P3X, which has given me about five kilometers an hour at free speed. Don't tell anyone that you need to actually train for these things. Just get a better bike, honestly. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not. It's given me five kilometers of free speed, but the training has kind of obviously helped. But I think at this stage, all I really need to mention is just how quite excited and grateful I am for all this. A lot of your guys' support has actually helped all this happen over the years, so I can't thank you enough for that. If you have enjoyed the video, please do make sure to give it a like and that you have subscribed down below. 
Keltman is just around the corner, the race video is going to be class, the weather is looking exactly as we want it to be, and we can see, which on the North Coast 500, to be honest, is all you really want. Rain, wind, sun, hail, snow, whatever it throws at you, it's got to be expected, but if I can see, I'll be happy, I'll be happy. So I'm going to be hitting about on this very, very shortly. Rest of the week's very light in terms of training, just trying to de-stress psychologically as well as physically. But that's that. World's first Gymshark tri suit, world's first Gymshark wetsuit, and a really cool bike. So, see you next time.